Hey everyone, so I'm back. I got a lot of messages asking if I could do a video of how I do my nails using nail form and some tips on how I manage some of the forms that don't work. So in this video, I'll be doing three types of nail forms just to let you know these are the ones I actually use on a daily basis. So this is just me right now, just put in my nail form, no biggie. This is not really a tutorial, it's just you watching me do it the way I like doing it. There really is no right way for me. I just do it the way it works, honestly. So this one is pretty cool. This one is uh, from the Mia Secret. I really like this one. I use this one a lot. Uh, sometimes it does stick up. So what I do is I pinch the sides and I pinch the other sides kind of different ways so it doesn't pop off. But this one actually is really easy to use. But if you're having problems with this one, just kind of pinch the sides together and it'll work for you. I also pinched a tip because I figured if I pinched a tip, it'll work better for me. A lot of the times if I don't pinch the tip, then it opens up again and then it causes a problem. And then I use that whole, you know, I lose the whole form. I mean, like it just moves the whole application and it just like, it makes it more crooked. So yeah, this one I'm just doing step by step. Uh, this is not really how I actually do nail forms. I usually do on the one ball method, but because I've been asked to do more than one ball method, this is the way I do it. So I would use this. I'm using a size 10 brush. I can't talk. Sorry, I just had a piece of bread. <laughs> but I use a size 10 brush. I feel like it covers well and it picks up well. Not too much, but just enough for you to do at least, you know, with nail forms. Make sure that you build a thick apex. If you don't, then doing nail forms is just going to be uh, issues every single time because then it'll break off if the apex is not uh built and it's not thick enough i sometimes don't do it thick enough and then i go and bump my nail and it comes off like right now doing this voice over i've already lost two nails and that's because forms don't really last long for me forms are not for everyone i know this but if they're for you and you like them then some of these tricks and you know tips might work also, the way I take these forms off, instead of you breaking the whole nail form, I know somebody asked if you could reuse the tip. I've never reused the nail form, um, and I've never tried to, because once you actually bend it to that nail and then you, you move it, it's, it's kind of hard to go back to shape. So I don't recommend you reusing it unless you actually you know do it to where it doesn't break so this is how i pop them off i wait till it's dry you have to wait till it's completely dry if not then the whole the whole form is just gonna make your nail collapse and it's just it's gonna ruin it so what i do is i pinch put to the side and then i go up front and i just sweep. this is what you do for your clients too so you don't hurt them and these go forms i have a love and hate relationship for them I don't really like them, but they are my backup forms, and they are a lot cheaper than the rest of them. But I have to tweak these a lot, because if not, they start opening, and then once you put your acrylic on it, it just, you lose the whole structure, and it's not fun, especially when you're sitting there dealing with a client that moves and likes to text. It's not fun. So this is one of my hacks that I have for you guys today. If you was to flip this over pinch all of them you will see that you will lose its actual shape it'll be a little bit skinnier than your actual nail and you see it doesn't close all the way that's just how these are made they're not really good but they work if you tweak them so over here in this corner i flip this tab and what i do call me crazy but this works for me all the time i've been doing this for years now i put some acrylic and what the acrylic does, it just binds it together. It doesn't move. It dries pretty fast. Not fast, fast, but, you know, pretty fast. Flatten it out. And once it dries, then you go ahead and continue with your acrylic, which works for me all the time. In this video, I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. These tips I've noticed also gives me a heat spike every single time I use them. And I'm not sure why but I can't really explain why this one I actually this is exactly how I do my nail forms I just take the whole one ball and I just drag it down it's more slippery so you have to make sure that you worry about your sidewalls make sure it doesn't leak all the way in the bottom so with this form you constantly have to make sure that the file the shape is is there if not then you're going to be falling so much but 
I really like them. I like them. I'm, they're not my favorite to use, but I, I do prefer the other ones. I don't recommend these to beginners because how they pop open. If you could tell, if you could see on the bottom, it's already opening, but it's not opening because we had put acrylic on the tip. And see, it didn't open the whole entire time. So I'm very grateful that I actually did this little tweak because I have a whole bunch of these. And if it wasn't for that little acrylic in the tip, I'd definitely go crazy and just throw these away. But with this one, you got to make sure, again, with all forms, you have to make sure that they're dry first before you pinch and pull away at the nail form. Because especially with this one, it will snag the whole form, the whole structure off. So you got to be careful. This is exactly what I do all the time. It works. All right, so these are two of my favorites, and I'm comparing the Mia Secret ones and the Koopa nail forms. I really enjoy using both of these, but for some reason, I just love the Koopa ones. The Koopa ones you could get from their store or maybe on eBay. I haven't seen them sell them on eBay. The only ones I've seen sell them is actually the actual Koopa store. If you do find them on eBay, um, I don't know if there are more money. But yes, these are... I think they're similar. I love the way Koopa had to where you could uh, detach the top part, maybe save it for later. If you want to, you know, make the um, form a little bit longer, it's a lot longer. See how this cut up things? You could cut it out. This form is so sticky though, so you could reuse it. I usually use the top part for toes um, to fix my nail um, or I just leave it to do like flowers or something but see how sticky it is i just put it right back on the on paper and compared to the mia secret you could reuse them i've reused them a lot of times especially when i run out of my mia secret it's great but like i said you gotta tweak it a little bit because there's not much fun there but over here you don't really have to do much you just gotta fold it fold the ends but my pinky is very square so when my pinky is very square i really have a hard time always with any forms with my pinky I usually cut the uh, the tip um, down not like where they're free edges so it makes it like more square and then I put my acrylic but I don't do that anymore I just go ahead and put the acrylic on top and I do it fast and I go from side to side this form doesn't uh, make your acrylic leak like it's not slippery like the gold one so you're able to um, work with it you know at a, a slow pace not fast pace not like the the gold ones the gold ones you have to work fast this one you don't but i really like this one and um it it works so if you don't have enough money for the koopa ones get you the mia secret one i think they work the same but this was just a little video showing you how i actually use my nail forms and how i you know tweak them a little bit to make them work better you know, if you have any other ideas how to make them work better, please, I would love to see a video of yours. Um, if this video helped you, just, you know, like and comment. I really appreciate all of them. I hope I showed you something and you learned something from me. This is what they look like when they're done. I have not filed them yet. I have other plans to do my nails and that will be in the next video. I have other reviews and stuff, but this is how they look. They look kind of crappy because they're not filed yet but you can't really tell the difference but thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video